donut pillow. Mass over Ugh. right hi guys so um I thought I would just uh continue on with um this piece with you so I kind of worked on the face a little bit after um I the live got cut off last night um just because I just wanted to keep the momentum going so um I worked on the face and it's kind of, it's getting there. Um, I need to do a little bit of uh, some toning to make it a bit more um, dimensional. And then I'm going to be adding on um, details to this side of it. Um, and also the sides of this um, bomb chest. So that's kind of my plans uh, for today is to do that. So I'm going to add a little bit of color to the lips. It's kind of just a dark and you can't really see anything. So I'm just going to add a little bit of lighter red to that. Let's see, I'm using my acrylic paints um, on here. You can use acrylics on furniture. It's perfectly fine. And I even mixed some of the acrylic with the chalk paint yesterday because I needed um, to get the flesh tone correct. So I did that yesterday as well. Sorry, I'm going to close this powder because knowing me, I'm probably just going to step on it. So I want that to happen. All right, it's always a mess when I'm working on something. I've got like a million things open everywhere. Because I'm not sure what I'm going to use or not, so um, it's always a mess. Alright, so let's do a sort of a lighter red. This one is a, um, what is it called? Like a crimson red. So it's super dark. No, it's the Bordeaux red actually. It's not even the crimson one. Carmine red, I think, would look good. I just want it to kind of uh, not look so dark everywhere but still going to add work on the lips a little bit um, and I need black so I'm just doing a few colors that I know I already need for this so I'm just going to touch up the mouth a little bit. Let's see where it's going. Okay. Got my inspiration photo um, of it. Gold leaf everywhere, too. All right. There's always a bunch of stuff. Okay. Let me add... dark and paint that a bit brighter Ooh, 
going to paint over the black a little bit too. Um, so it's not so, so much of a line right there. Okay, I think add a little bit of the darker red. some spots how am I going to outline it to add some of the darker here I just want you to be able to see that those two lips there and then That looks better. It's just a bit too dark for me. Right there. Slight bit of water. Clean up some of the lines here. Um, and then I did, um, I added a bit of the Modern Masters uh, rich gold on the hair. The, the hair is uh, kind of like a bright yellow, but it was sort of kind of clashing with um, the rest of the tones I was doing. So I added a bit of the uh, rich, the pale gold to it to get it to look more um, cohesive. I'm just going to add some of it up here, too, now that it's dried. So I still want the other yellow tones, but I um, don't want it to be okay. And then I was going to add some more here. The face is a little bit... Uh, I'm just adding a little bit of the gold on here too. And I'm gonna have to highlight these areas as well. Let's see. I wonder if I can Uh, I'm going to add some more gold onto the little rolls right here. Not to block this, add some over here.
second eyebrow. It needs a little bit of work. Let's see. Um, a darker gray. Bit of the darker gray, I think. Okay, I think I'll do some of the darker gray and then do some of the pearl metallic on there. Do the gray underneath and then I'll do the pearl brown over it. I always feel like the emotional ones are some of my best work just because it's like telling a story. the pearl brown. I'm going to add a little bit more up here. Do that. Like so.
much is enough gold there. Okay, I think that's good for that, and um, I'm ready to do uh, part of this side, this side now. Um, so what I had planned was, uh, these are adhesive foil um, or adhesive decor transfers from Redesign. They, they look yellow, but these are actually sticky. So um, what you do is you apply them and then you put the foil over it and the foil sticks on so it gets that metallic color of whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, so it has this cool script part of it. So I was planning on putting the script part right there because it's kind of like a story, you know, so I wanted to do some of the script here and some of it here. So it's like a, like a poem or uh, something like that on the sides. Okay. So let me cut it off. do something with that later. We'll see. Okay. Um, but I like this. So it's not really, you know, there's not really any words or anything to it, um, but it just looks like script, which is fine because I don't really want actual words on it anyways. I'm just going to cut this in half. sure it doesn't curl on itself because it loves doing that. All right. Um, so basically you apply it on like you would any uh, other transfer pretty much. And I just wanted it to wrap around a little bit like that. And then let me bring this apart a little bit so I can reach. Um, I'm going to cut my back once. I don't really want to do it again. You just got to really rub this on. And then you'll see when it gets on that it's, uh, it turns like a little bit darker so you can see when it does rub on surface a bit of a pain with any of these script ones because they're so small um, the you know the line is small so it's tougher to get it off 
than with the other transfers, um, just because they have more of a surface area and stuff, so it's just always kind of a pain to do these ones, but that's okay. I actually haven't used one of these in a really long time. Um, I think they came out a year and a half ago, I believe, um, and I was really super excited when I first got them. So I did a bunch of pieces using them, um, and then I kind of just forgot about them, but um, when I started doing this I knew that I had to use some of the adhesive foil transfers for this piece because it's, um, it's going to be like all metallics. Alright, I'm just going to slowly peel this off. Okay, good. It's sticking. Transfers really like this um, glossy slip sort of surface. This I used Rust-Oleum's metallic sprays, so I used the metallic sprays and I kind of just did like a like a wiping action. I don't know. I can't even explain it. So if you asked me to do it again, I probably couldn't because it was just like one of those things where I was really hating it and then I kept going over and over it and then it started looking really cool. So then I just kept at it and uh, came up with this. So it's one of those, one of those pieces. Right, so you can see it's a bit elasticy. Okay, so now that this is on, I'm going to do the other half of it, too. Let's get it all done. I wonder if I flipped it over, if it will look weird. Would it look weird? I kind of want it going in one direction, but... worried if that would look strange. Yeah, it does look kind of weird. Oh well. So I will just keep this part. Yeah, I kind of wish I had done a bit more right here and then done less up here. So I think I'm going to cut this even more a little bit to um, kind of wanted it to drag out a little bit more, so I'm just going to do that. So, yeah, okay, I just wanted it to extend a little bit more um, over here. Don't do that. It's um, yeah, it's kind of like uh, elastic, so it kind of it comes off uh, kind of stretchy sometimes. So you just want to be aware of that when you're using these. Um, they have to adhere completely onto the surface, otherwise they just come off, and it's not not good. So you just want to make sure you do it on the type of surface that these transfers work the best on, <clears throat> which is something more smooth and not so much chalky. Um, you don't really want to use super chalky paints with these ones just because of how they are. So let's I don't want to do that. Okay. I'm going to put the other half up here. Thank you. 
actually not doing too bad. It's just kind of a pain. So you can kind of see what it's going to look like with the yellow slightly and then um, I'm going to be using the gold leaf with this. So I'm actually going to use it on top of it and then I'm going to brush it off. Okay, let me try to get some of this paint away. Last time. Uh, yes, the lady is hand painted. Okay. I'm actually going to use gold leaf. Um, just because I want it to match the gold that I already have, but I uh, ran out of the foils um, that are specifically this color. And I don't really want to use anything that's not this color, so I'm going to use gold leaf. than one messy gold leaf piece so far. Leaf everywhere. I'm going to wipe it off the cloth, but make sure this is fine. I just want to make sure I get it over the script because it's so small that it can easily be missed for that. So I just want to make sure I don't do that um, as I'm wiping this off. Because it's already sticky, the uh, leaf is adhering to it. So. so you see, it's a gold rain, gold leaf rain. Okay, it didn't get on this one completely, so I'm just rubbing it off. And just gonna rub it off. Yeah, how cool is that? So easy to do. So if you haven't tried these yet, um, these transfers are really cool to use, especially considering that you can use any sort of foil, any color foil. You can use leaf if you want, like I, I am doing right now. Um, you know, you could use copper leaf, uh, silver leaf, whatever you want would work. Just trying to get it over some of the yellow areas that I didn't do. Just want to make sure I So 
I just wanted it to look like a, a poem, a story, um, because it is a story. Freya uh, is actually one of the Viking mythologies, um, and she's weeping because her husband is gone, and she cries tears of gold. Kind of like the uh, Viking version of the Odyssey, um, where Penelope is left in Athos by herself, and Ulysses is uh, off to war, and then he has trouble coming back home. So, just like, I'm kind of a mythology geek, so uh, I really love Greek, any sort of mythology, Greek mythology, Roman, any of those, Norse. Uh, I just really like the stories and you can see also like kind of the, the culture uh, within the, the stories. And you thought it was just yellow? Yeah, a lot of people think it's just yellow, um, but it's actually not. It's, uh, it's just yellow so that you can see it, but um, because if it was white, you would have a hard time seeing it unless you were doing it on, you know, like a color surface or something. So the yellow is just so you can see it better. And also if it's yellow, um, when you do the gold foil, it blends in more. So that's why it's yellow because uh, the foils, you know, look better um, on something that's a base that's similar. So when you do the gold, the yellow just like complements it. So it just um, does that, but it's definitely not just yellow. I really love these. These are amazing to use. I just haven't used it in a while. Um, just kind of happens when you have too much stuff to use you kind of forget some of the other stuff but so yeah I wanted to you know make it sort of like a story right here uh, so I think I'm about done with this I don't really want any more leafing I might do some down further on the legs but that's about it I don't want it to be like a overload even though it's a lot of gold already and then now the sides um so with the sides, I, uh, the sides, I am considering using another gold transfer. Um, where did I put it? Okay. So let me show you the sides. Just try not to knock all of my stuff over, which is like almost impossible anyways, but. I've got these on wheels, so hopefully they move easily. Let me get a leaf everywhere. Okay. All right, so here's the side. Can you see that? Okay, yes. Side of the piece, you can see it's uh, just like the metallics um, on the front. I kind of debated leaving it blank like this because it's still pretty like this um but i'm considering adding more gold to it with the with this transfer so what do you think good idea um i don't know i'm kind of thinking of just doing this so that it's more cohesive to the front and i like the abstract look of this it's called a gilded distressed wall. So this that's the one, and this is actually gold. So this is really gold. Um, and uh, I think it would look really cool. So I'm just going to do it. Usually, you know, gut feelings and all that stuff. So uh, I'm just going to try to avoid some of the French words if I can. I don't know if I can. Kind of don't want any French words in this piece. So I'll try to avoid it. All right. And then with these, these are a little bit different too. So um, you can see it's a metallic. So it's basically just foil that's sticky on the parts where uh, the transfer is. 
It's a little bit of a different technique to apply these ones, um, which I will show you as soon as I can get myself unstuck. So, let's try to make sure I don't stick it on too early because it really likes to stick on metallics. Um, with these, you kind of have to rub it on the areas here. It's a little bit different. You just you have to kind of rub vigorously with these ones. Um, different from, like, same technique, but so slightly different from normal transfers. So, it's a bit different. It's kind of, so, try to get it on. It's a little bit more difficult, but right, I'm just going to go from this side and then over here because because of the curved, slightly curved surface. So it's better to just start on one side and move on. Oh, sorry, my back is not completely healed at all, so I'm trying... I'm sitting on this stupid donut pillow and uh, trying to not bend too much. Alright, so let's try to get these edges. So luckily it likes, you know, this surface. Like I said, it's they the transfers really love this glossy um, surface, which is why I tell you, if you are having trouble getting the transfers to adhere, top coat it, uh, let it dry fully, and then try again. Um, I know with the IOD transfers, they tell you to top coat always, which is true with those ones. I have used them, and they definitely will not go on without a top coat, but with the redesigned ones, they are not like that. Um, it's just kind of finicky, depending on the type of surface that you are applying them on. So on some of them, it's better not to top coat um, just because the halos and just a few factors. But if you're having a really hard time, then you should just top coat and uh, make the surface more smooth and then the transfer will go on better. So just a little tip if you're having issues with adhering you don't want to rub the crap out of them, you know, you want, you want to, uh, not have your arm fall off. So there are ways to get them to work better. The cool thing about this is that even if it doesn't all come off, it, it's distressed anyway, so it's just kind of like, uh, abstract, so it doesn't really matter if it all doesn't come off, but it is, it's coming off. Um, as you can see. So. Um, but when it lifts, you know, it gets clear like this, so that's when you can tell it's completely lifted. So just a thing with this one, there aren't very many that are these gilded ones. Um, there are the gilded scrolls, the uh, there's the gilded ones that are like a border that go down. Um, so there's a few that are this like gold leaf sort of finish, as opposed to the more aged gold that you see on some of the newer transfers. It's really cool to have silver ones, but that's where you can, you know, you can add silver foil onto your uh, the adhesive foil transfer. So if you have been wanting silver, you can use it on those and get silver. You know, cool silver, silver uh, designs on here. Very cool to use. Well, just kind of, you know, Taking that off a little by little, I just kind of flip it up and make sure I have it completely off. And then go little by little over to 
through the other side. a coin um, yeah. okay so these ones come with a coin instead of the stick because it's easier to rub it with the coin like the harder points you actually might want to keep these too when you're having issues with your transfer and you have little parts these are really great to use so because they're harder so they don't come with the sticks because the sticks are pretty much useless when it comes to really um, rubbing it on so these coins make it easier with this type of transfer but you can keep them too to use on the other transfers if you're having problems with the little itty bitty parts they uh, work really well too so that's another cool thing Words, but oh okay. well. Move with it. I don't really want it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's coming off anyways because this is like super sticks on this type of type of surface. Someone woke up from his nap. Uh, so, yeah. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, huh? So I'm going to do the bottom part now. Get it aligned. These are, these are in two sheets, too. So, uh, top and bottom line up. great thing about these is you don't really need it to line up perfectly because you can't really tell anyways so you know whatever way you slap it on it's pretty much okay uh, with this gilded with these gilded ones or this one with the gilded this gilded one But I like the transfer tool for many, many reasons. Um, so I just like using my transfer tool for everything because it's versatile and it works really well. And I don't break as many of them as I do with the, the little sticks. time trying to get this off but it is still a little bit hard with the curved surface that I'm doing it on. Thank you. 
Don't want to get it on the legs, really. So I'm going to try to avoid that area of this. really want it on the legs. But I do want it completely off of here. Oh, it kind of lifted a little bit. I wasn't, but I'll just push it back down. It's all good. Okay. So I'm just press it back down. Is the front a transfer? Uh, the the gold part is. Um, I painted the other part, the face. So that is hand painted, but uh, I did add a little bit of gold to the other side too, um, just to make it you know more blingy. <sighs> Can never have enough gold in your life. And then I will seal this actually. So I, I'm going to seal this. Um, I prefer to use a super glossy spray um, for this. So I will be using a super glossy spray top coat um, over this entire thing just to make the foils more durable, even though they are really pretty durable. Um, actually, they're pretty durable as they are, but you know, things happen. So I just will go ahead and top coat it uh, anyways as well but other than you know they're they're not uh they're pretty durable by themselves too so okay back to the front and let's see if i need to do anything more okay i gotta do the hardware i'm kind of almost there with the face Everything's under a pile of gold. <laughs> All right, too much gold. Ah. Where are you, paint? Oh, there it is. Okay. And touch up the eyebrow a little bit. Yeah, let's just touch up the eyebrow a little with this brown. Brown right now. Oh, okay. Still have a little bit left on here. I just want to make this eyebrow straight. And the leafing's standing up, holding up pretty well um, because I use the top coat for it with my sponge um, and I find it makes it really durable. I don't really like the, um, the gold leaf adhesives it comes with uh, because they're sticky and then when you miss an area it just remains sticky and so it gets my brush sticky, it just gets, gets everything sticky so I prefer to use a top coat or a glaze when I'm using gold leaf. Um, it's just easier 
when it dries, it's smooth, it's not sticky, so it's just what I prefer to use. A gold transfer, yes, it's the gold transfer. Um, it's called, well, this one is called Rustic Sea. So this is the Rustic Sea one. It's the um, one of the yellow looking ones, um, but it's not yellow. It's just because it's sticky and it's an adhesive foil. There's a, a ton of foil colors you can use. Um, they come in a whole range of metallic colors. And uh, these. this is one of the transfers. There's five, I think. I think there's five of these that are different designs um, from this one. So, and then the one I used on the side is called the Gilded Distressed Wall. This one is just gold um, by itself, so it's not, uh, it's not one of the sticky uh, foil ones that um, I have. All right, last part, it's just the other side. Turn this one too. I need to grab the other one. I didn't think I would need two, but okay. Try to elevate this. Do this other side. Let's do the other side. So gilded distress wall, same one. And just going to add this one to this side now. Okay, just gonna do it the same way. Make it um, Scraping does the trick for the larger areas. it's all on there. Okay. 
that's silver underneath, so I can't have it fold over because then it looks silver. Um, which is not the color I want, so I just gotta make sure it's nice. We on here again, burnish, burnishing. Have to burnish with all the transfers. Um, doesn't really matter what they are. Just have to make sure they're completely on the surface so they don't curl up or have anything happen to them. Okay, this is the bottom part. Bit of it gone on the leg. Oh well. I was really trying to avoid the leg part because I want the the legs to be just black and not leafed. Just give it some a little bit of a balance. Trying to avoid that, but this sticks really well. So. Gotta get it nice and flat on the surface, otherwise it looks bad. Okay. Little silver spots here. all good. Yep, looks good. All right, awesome. Okay, so I think we're done. I think we're done for now. Um, I'm just going to keep the top this uh, black sort of um, peacock shimmery iridescent top up there. I'm not going to really do anything more with that one. And then um, I just have to do the hardware. I need to decide on the hardware for this um, and uh, figure out uh, and think about if I need anything, anything else. But I think she's pretty good. Um, yeah, I think she's pretty good to go actually done so yeah I really like how it turned out it was um, um this was a bit of an unexpected piece I, I wasn't planning anything like this um, honestly I I was actually quite trying to go for a more fancier route of uh, doing something 
with molds and then it kind of just took on its own nature and this is what came out. So um, it's always fun to just uh, do these pieces that are just more um, visceral for me, like uh, just based on emotion. So I guess this is what I was feeling. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just, the world's kind of in a not-so-good place right now, so. Um, okay, so that's it for this piece. Uh, I'm going to stage and share her tomorrow. <laughs> publicly and um, uh, design on the hardware. I, I forgot what it even looks like, so I need to take a look at the hardware and see what it looks like and if it'll fit um, with this, but I think it will. Uh, and yeah, so thanks for joining me in the process of this piece. Um, I hope you like it and I am going to go lay down again <laughs> because my back's killing me. So. Um, but I just uh, wanted to share the process from start to beginning, well, semi-start to beginning with, with this one so that you know um, how I did it and what products I used and um, all of that fun, good stuff. So, And I didn't disconnect, so that's, that's always a good live when I don't uh, accidentally disconnect my phones. <laughs> so, um, But yeah, have a great night. Thanks for watching, and um, I will... See you guys Saturday, I think, for the normal um, live time. So, yeah.